All right, we'll continue with the word of the Most High. We're going to go to 2 Ezra 14 and verse 9. Ezra was given 204 books, 124 more books than we have with the 80 books that we do have today. He was given 204 books. And I want to show you some how blessed we are to be able to go here and read this and have the understanding of this Bible in these last days, whereas even the prophets, some of them didn't understand certain things. I'm going to give you a prime example. In the Spirit, so we roll it with the Spirit. Second Ezra 14. In verse 8, it says, That thou lay up in thine heart your mind, the signs that I have showed and the dreams that thou hast seen and the interpretations which thou hast heard, right? So now when you go to uh, Job 33 and 14, Job 33 and 14, for the most I speak it once, yeah, twice, yet man perceive it not. Remember this. Most I speak once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. A lot of times he spoke to us and we didn't understand. So he says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose, whatever you want to do, and hide pride from man, right? So now, reading uh, 2 Ezra 14 and 8 again, that thou lay up in thy heart, which is your mind, where you think, the signs that I have showed, and the dreams that thou hast seen, and the interpretations which thou hast heard. For thou shalt be taken away from all, Meaning he's going to die. Israel's going to die. He's going to take away from all. And from henceforth, from once you die, henceforth, hereafter, thou shalt remain with my son. See that? Hereafter, thou shalt remain with my son. And with such as be like thee. Until the times be ended. Right? Until the times be ended. So he said, hey, you're going to remain with my son and such as be like Ezra. That's why it's so important. I, I, in the spirit, I try, I'm trying to show how we have to be, like the most I said, was marvelous in his eyes. That Ezra humbled himself, didn't account himself as one of the righteous. Job accounted himself as one of the righteous, the most I said, Satan on him. That's why. Now, second, say, to the end, he's gonna be, he gonna go, he gonna reside with a Mashiach of a shot, and those that's like Ezra had a spirit just like Ezra had until the end times. That's what he's telling them. I mean, he ain't coming back here. And what's at the end? Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So, Ezra didn't have to come back here. But, just like Daniel didn't. Let's get Daniel before we come back to Ezra. The last verse in Daniel's, the 12th chapter. Daniel 12. And verse 13. Say, but go thou thy way, talking to Daniel, till the end be, just like he told Ezra, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. You hear that? Daniel had to come back here. Ezra had to come back here. But Ezra, he was told him, I'm going to read it again. 2 Ezra 14 and 9. For thou shalt be taken away from.
from all. I mean, you're going to die. And from henceforth, hereafter, thou shalt remain with my son. Mokshav Hashem, the right hand side of the Most High, we just read, the Spirit, that make of intercession for us, with my son, and with such as be like thee, those that be like Ezra, that die and going to be with the Mashiach of Hashem, like Ezra, until the times be ended, right? Until the times be ended. So the Most High kept giving Ezra all these um, um, prophecies, things that happen in the future. Ezra's overwhelmed. So go to uh, 2 Ezra 16. Now, 14, 15, and 16 is dealing with prophecy of what's going to happen. And we can see these prophecies happening in our time. Or have already happened. 2 Ezra 16 and verse 17. Listen to what he said. Well, let's, let's read a little bit so you'll see this is in the end, end times. Uh, verse 14. Let's, see, let's read verse 13. For strong is his right hand, Mashiach Shai, that bit of the bow, his arrows that, is sh that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So we understand that. The ends of the world. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob's the beginning of that follower. So they're gonna, these arrows, missiles are going to be shot. That's the only thing we can think of right now, nuclear missiles, but they're going to be powerful than anything that man has made. Shot into where? The ends of the world, right? So we talk about the ends of the world. He told Desiree he's going to be with his son. Daniel will be in his lot. But listen. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, right? Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. These plagues coming upon the earth, future prophecy. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, like these missiles, returning not backwards, they ain't going backwards once they go on forward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Right? Listen to what Ezra was saying. Woe is me. Destruction is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? So did he understand it? Did he understand what we just read? In 2 Ezra 14 and 9, For thou shalt be taken away from all, you're going to die, and from henceforth thou shalt remain with my son, Mashiach Yahweh and with such as be like thee until the times be ended. The world that we in be ended. But Ezra said within the next couple of chapters, what was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days? Hear what he's saying? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. He said, what shall I do? What shall I do? Ezra is saying, when these evils shall come, he already told. He already was told. He's going to be with the Mashiach Yavashai. Until the ends come, until the end times come. So it's no different than, look at Acts, the first chapter, Mashiach Yavashai died. That's why I said it's such a a blessing for us in these last days to be able to get this true understanding and to see what we see and to, to really recognize what it is that our ancestors they had a lot but certain things they didn't you know just like it's just they, they're, they're people so they we are like that sometimes we hear sometimes we don't I was dealing with my uncle today he was talking about people don't listen people don't they don't want to listen it's, it's something about our people man so, 
Go to Acts, the first chapter. Mashiach was shot, died, rose on the third day, walked the earth for 40 days. Let's see what they said. And we can relate to this because we hadn't went through what it is that we know we went through. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore would come together, they asked of him, saying, Mashiach, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? They asked him, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? So without a shadow of a doubt, the kingdoms are coming to Israel. It's coming to Israel. And he said to them, It is not for you to know, or any of us to know, the times or the seasons which the Most High, the Father, have put in his own power. See? It ain't for us to know the times or the seasons that the Most High has put in his own power, meaning only the Most High knows. I see somebody was saying, I see somebody was trying to predict again when the end going to come. Don't, 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 don't believe that. Don't, hey, look. Mashiach Rashad told you, there will come many false prophets in the world and going to say this is when the end going to come. They don't know. Matthew 24, 36. And see, this, the sad part about it is he already said this to them. We is in the flesh. He's just what he said to them. The apostle saying what I asked him that question. He already told him this. Matthew 24, 36. But of that day and hour, nor of no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. I hope that register in your mind. He said, only the most high knows the day. We done read it in the pocket, we read it here in many places. Only the most high knows. It's in the most high's hand. Not no man, but only the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Remember Noah's building the ark 80 years. Like we crying out, it's going, it's going, the fire is coming. It's going to be a day of darkness like you've never seen before in your life. And you ain't going to see no sun, you're going to see no moon, you're going to see no stars, nothing but darkness. We just read it. For as the days that, th that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day, the day that Noah entered into the ark. To that day. And knew not until the flood came. And took them all away. Hear that? Took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. See? People are going to be doing whatever they're doing. Partying. Having a good time. Having pleasures. And all of a sudden you're going to bam. Because you got to look at it. 2 Peter 3 and 8. 2 Peter 3 and 8. Why he said watch and pray. 2 Peter 3 and 8. 2 Peter 3 and 8. Finally, excuse me. I'm at 1 Peter. 2 Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, you know, no, uh, 10. But the day of the Most High, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Most High, the Mashiach of the Shai, will come as a thief in the night. Will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. He's bringing that fire. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. You say that fire is coming. Saying then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and righteousness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, and of Mashiach Tevashai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. You see, the heavens being on fire, this earth is heaven too. Being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements that in the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. See, that's what people people uh, totally 
misinformed, looking at the kingdom, thinking that the kingdom is going to be like this kingdom we're in now. But no, it's going to be righteousness in the kingdom. Righteousness. That's why I go to um, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, I believe. Go to Isaiah. Sixty-six, Isaiah sixty-six, and we're gonna read um, verse twenty-two, Isaiah sixty-six and twenty-two. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, once He burn this place up, purify it. And set the righteousness on this earth shall remain before me, said the Most High. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon, we still going to be honoring the new moon, to another new moon. And from one Sabbath to another, one Sabbath to another, we're going to still be honoring the feast days and the Sabbath every week. We're rehearsing right now. Shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Most High. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses, that's the dead bodies of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. I mean, the fire will be burning them up, and the worms will be eating them up. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. I'm going to hate this. Daniels 7.18 Daniel 7.18 But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom And possess the kingdom, the saints are the twelve tribes of Israel. We read Psalms 148.14. Forever, even forever and ever. Verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. That's why we got next, y'all. Most High will. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. So that's all we have for this particular session. I hope that was edifying to you. I hope you'll take down the pre you took down the precepts and we'll study. And with that, I'm out. Shalom. Amen.